Hey guys, welcome to my sneaker review of the Nike Air Zoom GP Turbo. What does GP stand for? I presume Grand Prix, but whatever. Now I bought these sneakers for me personally. I haven't bought Nike sneakers in decades. I am a big fan of K-Swiss Hyper Quartz. Has several pairs of those. I have Adidas Boost. I have um, I have Prince T22s. And the theme with all these shoes is maximum comfort for my aging type two diabetic feet. I find it difficult finding tennis shoes because most of the hot rod tennis shoes out there are narrow fit, kind of like a race car fit. And I have a little bit wider foot and I just demand a little bit of extra room in the toe box. This way I could either cinch up my sneakers when I really want to get locked in or leave them loose for some casual playing and have some relief when I'm not out there trying to compete hard. Now why did I pick the Nike Air Zoom Turbos? Well, what was really intriguing was the cushioning. Apparently they borrowed from their basketball technology and put in full length cushioning. It pretty much feels like a pillow and has some great shock absorption and comfort. As soon as you put your foot in it, you get a plush feeling, a little spongy, um, some people may not like that, but my feet loved it. Even though I'm loving the cushioning, Nike runs a little narrow and the toe box has got a reputation for being a little tight. And this is true. Knowing this, I sized up from a 10 and a half to an 11 and it's still very snug. It's not so bad that I just put on the sneakers, feel the tightness, and take them right off and send them back, which I've done before with other sneakers. But I have the hopes of stretching this out, and after a few uses, it has opened up a little bit and hasn't bothered me much, but it's still a snug fit, even with the break-in. I'm hoping it breaks in a little more. I might try to stretch it a little bit using some tips and tricks try to get that toe box a little bit wider, a little bit looser, because I really want to like these shoes. I really want to play in these shoes for a long time because the comfort is just, just feels good on the court and translate into less achy legs, ankles, knees, even hips. And you're on your toes more during the match and you spend more time on the court without having to pay for it after the next day. If you're my age, you know what I'm talking about. As far as traction, it's got pretty good traction. It's not the stickiest shoe and I'm not slipping around. Traction is good. It's a little bit tall on the tall side, but I got used to that pretty easy. The cushioning around the heel is pretty plush, kind of similar to the Hyper Quartz, which I enjoy. The lace system is, is pretty cool, very easy to cinch them up and they're pretty good when you leave them loose if you're just playing casual. It's not a boot type sneaker which I really don't like and I guess I'm a little old school but I just like the traditional tongue that's loose and not attached to the sneaker but that's just me. Um, ventilation is okay but I'm playing in cooler fall weather indoors so I can't really say how it is during the hot summer days some people report that breathability could be a little bit better but I'll have to see about that when the weather gets warm so even with all the little drawbacks the cushioning is the number one reason why I got these sneakers and it's the number one reason why I like them and I'm going to stretch out that toe box, get a better fit, and I'm gonna ride these until they wear holes in the bottom. And hopefully Nike comes up with some similar sneakers with different fits for wider feet. You got the cushioning three quarters of the length of the shoe. 
think that's golden for a lot of older players. Even younger players, you don't want to destroy your knees on hard courts and stuff like that. You could get maximum comfort and safety out of your shoe, then that's what you should be looking for. And these are gonna do it for me, hopefully. The colors, a little wild, but they're not insane. I can live with it. So I'll be definitely playing in these for a while and hopefully long term they hold up well, stretch out. And I have less recovery time from aches and pains after the long hours on the court. Now, if you like this review, you want to see more, check out my other videos, like and subscribe. Thanks for supporting the channel and thanks for watching.